Hello everyone, and welcome back to Celestial Symphony. The explosion of an atomic bomb represents a moment of profound devastation and destruction. At the terrifying moment of detonation, unimaginable energy is released, resulting in a catastrophic explosion, intense heat, and a deadly wave of radiation. As we examine the events that occur one second after an atomic bomb is detonated, we gain insight into the immediate consequences and long-term effects on the affected area and its inhabitants. So be sure to stay with us until the end of the video to find out the answer to these questions once and for all. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Explosion Wave Within a second of the explosion, the blast wave reaches its full destructive potential. The shock wave rapidly expands in all directions from the center of the explosion, creating a high pressure front that travels at supersonic speeds. Buildings, trees, and infrastructure close to the explosion have been destroyed. The force of the shock wave can collapse structures, hurl debris at deadly speeds, and cause extensive damage to anyone in its path. The blast wave is characterized by two phases, the positive pressure phase and the negative pressure phase. In the positive pressure phase, the initial shock wave compresses the surrounding air, resulting in a sudden increase in air pressure. This phase is responsible for most of the damage caused by the explosion. Buildings, structures, and anything in the vicinity of the blast are subjected to tremendous pressure, often resulting in their destruction. After the positive pressure phase, the negative pressure phase is created. At this stage, the rapidly expanding air creates a slight vacuum and causes the air to return to the center of the earthquake. The negative pressure phase can cause further destruction as it pulls debris and objects back toward the point of detonation. The intensity of the blast wave decreases with distance from the epicenter, but even several kilometers away, it can still be very destructive. Blast wave effects can be classified into four main areas. One second after the detonation of the atomic bomb, the blast wave causes immediate and devastating damage to the people within its reach. The force of the shockwave can cause internal injuries and lacerations, while the high velocity debris thrown by the explosion can cause severe injuries and even amputations. The massive power of the blast wave also creates a deafening sound adding to the chaos and confusion. Heat and Thermal Radiation after the explosion, a huge burst of thermal radiation is emitted. This intense heat causes immediate and indiscriminate damage to living organisms and structures. In the span of one second, the temperature of the epicenter of the earthquake can reach millions of degrees and burn everything in its vicinity. Thermal radiation can cause severe burns to exposed skin even several kilometers away from the blast site. When an atomic bomb explodes, a tremendous amount of energy is released in the form of heat radiation. This energy comes primarily in the form of high energy photons, mainly gamma rays, x-rays, and ultraviolet radiation. In a fraction of a second, this thermal radiation expands outward from the explosion site at the speed of light. Upon reaching the surrounding environment, thermal radiation quickly heats the air, objects, and surfaces in its path. The effects of heat and thermal radiation are more apparent in the vicinity of the explosion and gradually decrease as the distance from the center increases. The consequences of thermal radiation can be classified into two main areas, thermal flash zone. In the area closest to the explosion point, which is known as the thermal flash zone, the intensity of thermal radiation is at its highest. This area extends several kilometers to the epicenter, and inside it, thermal radiation causes immediate and catastrophic damage. People caught in this area suffer severe burns on exposed skin, and in severe cases can be vaporized. Structures, trees, and vegetation go up in flames and disintegrate due to the intense heat. The predatory nature of the heat flash leaves little chance of survival and makes escape almost impossible for those caught in its radius. Thermal Burn Zone Beyond the thermal flash zone, the effects of thermal radiation are less but still very damaging. In this area, which is located a few kilometers from the epicenter, people experience severe to moderate burns on exposed skin, depending on the proximity to the explosion. Combustible materials can ignite and structures can catch fire and suffer significant damage. In addition to immediate devastation, the effects of thermal radiation can have long-term effects on the environment and survivors. Fires fueled by extreme heat can spread quickly, wreaking havoc and hampering rescue efforts. Destruction of health and medical infrastructure and facilities creates additional challenges in providing aid and medical assistance to affected population. Mushroom Cloud Formation Simultaneously, within seconds, the initial explosion creates a stream of superheated air, debris, and radioactive material. As this plume rises into the sky, it cools and condenses, forming the iconic mushroom cloud associated with nuclear explosions. The towering plume of the cloud expands rapidly to great heights and spreads outward, carrying radioactive particles with it. Mushroom clouds are usually divided into two parts. The lower and darker part of the mushroom cloud is known as the stem. It consists of superheated air, debris, and particles from the ground that are drawn into the cloud by primary flow. The stem is often darker than the explosion site due to dust and soot. 
At the top of the stem, the mushroom cloud cap is formed by the cooling and condensation of water vapor and other materials in the rising column. The cap is often more noticeable and smoother in appearance than the stem and can take on different colors from white to shades of gray. The mushroom cloud also acts as a means of dispersal of radioactive particles. During a nuclear explosion, various radioactive isotopes are produced through nuclear fission. These radioactive particles can attach themselves to dust and debris in the mushroom cloud and form radioactive fallout. As the mushroom cloud rises and spreads, radioactive fallout is carried by wind currents over great distances and contaminates the surrounding area. Exposure to Radiation After the initial explosion, the release of radioactive material is a serious threat to life. Nuclear fission produces various radioactive isotopes such as cesium, strontium, and iodine that pollute the environment. A second after the explosion, these radioactive particles are carried by the mushroom cloud and can fall back to the ground and spread over a wide area. Immediate exposure to such radiation can cause acute radiation sickness, which in severe cases leads to nausea, vomiting, and even death. Impact on the environment and infrastructure In the first critical second, the explosion of the atomic bomb causes severe damage to the infrastructure and the environment. Beyond the destructive radius of the blast, Fires from the intense heat and flying debris can quickly spread over large areas. The intense pressure of the shockwave can also move large amounts of land, leading to significant changes in the landscape. Long-term effects A second after the explosion, it sets in motion a chain of catastrophic events that have long-lasting effects on the affected area and its inhabitants. Fallout radiation can contaminate soil, water supplies, and vegetation, making the earth uninhabitable for generations. The loss of infrastructure, healthcare facilities, and essential services exacerbates suffering and hinders the provision of medical aid and assistance. The aftermath of an atomic bomb explosion is characterized by unprecedented devastation and widespread devastation. The combined effects cause immeasurable damage to the environment, infrastructure, and human lives. The tragic consequences of such an event underscore the critical importance of maintaining peace, promoting disarmament, and advancing diplomacy to ensure a world free from the threat of nuclear war. As a global community, we must continuously strive to prevent such a disaster and create a safer and more secure future for all. And that's going to bring us to the end of the video. And make sure to tell us in the comments, what do you think about the atomic bomb? Do you think they're more beneficial or harmful for humans? And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and consider hitting the subscribe button and hit the bell so you never miss an upload. We want to thank you so much for watching. This has been Celestial Symphony. We'll see you in the next video.